Dean, thanks for joining me. It must have been a bit of a uh, strange week given the fact that we had a uh, Tuesday night's game postponed, but how's that affected preparation for uh, Saturday's game? I think it's an advantage for us. Um, you know, ideally we didn't, we didn't want to play the game, to be totally honest with you. So the weather walked in our favour this week. Um, it's given us a bit more recovery. It's allowed uh, people like Jamie Torley to have sort of a half a week's training so far. He trained fully with the squad today. He won't be ready for tomorrow, but we're hoping we'll get some minutes on Tuesday night. In the, the fixture's been pushed forward uh, or pushed back another week against Norwood so that's a positive and uh, training's been bright we train Wednesday Thursday Friday because the game was off obviously Tuesday so it's been bright and we're looking forward to tomorrow got a lot of pace uh, obviously Hesse has them well organised um, if you look at the defeats I know they haven't won a lot of games this year they're, they're competitive in all the games against Grimsby at 2-1 they're two one-on-ones they missed two glorious opportunities to come back into that game and in the end, they were sort of a little bit outclassed by Grimsby. Um, but they're, listen, they're a decent outfit. Um, and we're a very, a very good manager. Um, like I say, in the wide areas, they've got serious pace. I know a lot of the uh, supporters will know Alfie Pavey from his time here as well. He's good in the air, plays, he's good with his back to goal. Um, so they have got threats within their group. They don't take a lot of risks with the ball. Um, and they'll defend deep and make it difficult for us. So we're going to have to get after them and play on the front foot. And, you know, ask questions to them defensively. And then we're going to have to be solid ourselves. We're going to have to be careful of the counter-attack and um, make sure we don't give away any needless free kicks. And hopefully we can uh, we can get the result we need. How important is, it, is the mentality of the players, given where Dover are on the league table, to, to remain focused and, and treat it as any other game? I think that's the key, really. Um, you know, we're going to be the bookies' favourites in this, in this game. So we just need to perform like we know we can do in the last three games we performed well performed really well last week at Halifax you know when I look back at the game I thought we definitely didn't deserve to lose that game so great to get innocent character away at Torquay at home I felt we should have beat, beat Kings Lynn in the end you know our goalies had to save us in the last few minutes but I felt it was a solid enough performance to be able to beat them with mentality that starts with really your legs you've got to get your legs going you've got to get around the pitch as quick as you can without the ball you've got to express ourselves when we're with the ball and then we've got to play with a high tempo to be able to break them down and we're going to have to have quality. It was a tight 2-1 win uh, at Dover earlier on the season. What do you remember from that occasion? And um, that they, they obviously showed a, a lot of togetherness and character themselves to almost come back and, and equalise uh, late on, didn't they? I think that's the fight they've shown all season, Dover. Um, yeah, they had a great opportunity late on, I remember that. I, I felt that game, we should have been out of sight, really. We had a lot of good opportunities to go kill the game off. We didn't do that. Tomorrow we're going to have to... You know, look, if we can win 1-0, I'll take 1-0 all day long. But tomorrow we're going to have to get on the front foot and make sure we don't give them any opportunities like that. But like I say, they've got a lot of pace and they're well organised. So we, we've worked on that this week, you know, torn over to the ball, how we stop counter-attacks and how we sustain attacks. So hopefully we can penetrate the game. Plan. You, you mentioned that we need to improve our, our home form in, in recent interviews. How, how, do we, how do you feel like that, that can happen? It's just consistency. Consistency with selection. Consistency, especially selecting our back four, our back five and our defensive midfield players. And we haven't been able to do that for a long time and that's been frustrating. When we did have consistency, when you look back at it, you know, we picked up a lot of points in that period over that sort of 14, 14 game period picked up you know 20 odd points so we need to get back to that as soon as possible um, but all you can do in this business is take it one game at a time and that's what we're focusing on it's, it's been a, a bit of a, a tricky run in terms of results lately but sports have been right behind us still how, how, do, how do we give them something to sing about and what, what do you feel like needs to happen to to, uh, to change the, change our fortunes at the minute yeah I think our supporters have seen the endeavour of our players over the last three games that's all supporters want you know every, I'm a supporter as well I just want to see my team who's Liverpool run their socks off and that's what they do every game and give their all once you do that you do yourself and your family proud as a player and then you do your supporters proud my job is to collectively bring the team together and make sure we perform um, and make sure we win football matches and not concede and score more goals in the opposition so um, look our supporters have been amazing um, and like I say it's been another difficult year I can't lie um, it's been a difficult year for our supporters um, but for us there's a race on the sort of 14 that's sort of what we're focusing on can we end the season on a high over the next 14 games um, 15 if you include the county cup and uh, if we can do that you know we can have a nice uh, uh, finish to the season it will be Mark uh, six years since Chris East uh, sadly passed away and, and I know you're going to be uh, go, going to the bus stop at 12 o'clock to, to pay your respects to him yeah myself and the staff and uh, captain Jamie Torley we're all going to go down and uh, pay our respects um, that's you know it's, it's, it's a sad occasion but you know we'll remember Chris and uh, with fond memories personally I didn't know him but I think it's so important that we do this as, as a management team and as, as players 
And a collective, like I said, we want to be inclusive of all our supporters, and that's so important going forward.